it is Wednesday, August 26, 2020. We're going to be asking Spirit for a card today, a focus of intention. This is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition. Your intuition is your superpower. Everyone's born with intuition. Not everyone listens to it. Have you seen what's going on? We'd be in a much better place. Anyway, this is just the focus of intention for the next 24 hours. And again, whenever you see this is when you see it. I just date them so that way you guys know what date I'm on. If you see this three weeks from now, okay. Then it resonates with you at that time frame. So, this is coming from the Angels and Ancestors Oracle Card Deck by Kyle Gray. That didn't count. That didn't count. It didn't play it. Like that's it. No, it's not. I feel like that too. I ain't gonna say in front. There we go. Just like that. Woo! Magic guardian. It says unlock the magic within. And back in the day, angels were not called angels. They were actually called guardians. So the magic guardian says this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Stop looking outside yourself and recognize that you have incredible power within. Magic with a K is the energy of the universe that allows you to manifest and create through the direction and power of your will. It changes according to your frequency. As I always tell you guys, you guys are electromagnetic human beings. You're made of DNA that is dissolvable. It goes away. But you always have a vibration. Even your thoughts have a vibration. Your words have a vibration. Your movement has a vibration. So the magic guardian is a representation of the angel of magic who helps you direct your will to bring something into creation. She is also the angel who swirls around um, shamans and wise ones when they're calling on the energy of magic to help them manifest something that will be healing and supportive of their path. She's the angel of all magic that is directed for the highest good and whoever is working with it. You are magic. You are the answer. You have it all within you. If you've been searching for an answer or a reason to focus, recognize that all you have looking for you is already within you. You're a powerful, magical person with the capacity to direct your intentions, will, your desires into being. But your power can only be powerful when you own it. So take the time to acknowledge it. Your ability is to dedicate yourself to a goal and make it happen. It's a real gift that you're being guided to recognize now. And of course... When you don't know what you got to do next, that's why you have people, practitioners, advisors, ministers, you know, priests, counselors, therapists to help you sort these things out. But remember, it's in you and you have to first believe in yourself to tap into that magic. Because if you don't even believe in who you are, where you're going or just your day to day existence, then what's the point? You might as well just throw in the towel. And I'm going to be really honest with you. A lot of you guys throw in the towel before actually trying to get to know who you are. But because you value thinking more than you value feeling, you will go with thinking other than experiencing what needs to be experienced and felt for you to evolve. Do you see what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with analyzing. There's nothing wrong with thinking. But in this society, in human society, we value thinking. We value thought. We value intelligence. We condemn feeling. We contend being, we can, you know, we condemn being sensitive or too much or you need to toughen up or we push our emotions to the side. We numb them down. We shrink out. But unlock the magic within. The magic within you is the good, the bad, and everything fucking in between. And you have to understand that. And it's okay to feel and it's okay to experience and it's okay to enjoy and it's okay to think there's a time and a place for everything so remember you are more powerful than you think but you have to believe in yourself to tap into that magic to tap into that frequency to tap into that vibration to that tap into that abundance to tap into that richness to tap into that creativity to tap into that success to tap into excuse me to tap in that's like a tongue twister to tap into that wealth mentality and wealth does not just mean money. Wealth could be of love, abundance, joy, creativity, intellect, wisdom, evolving, whatever you can think of. I hope I help. I hope I put some things in perspective. Remember, don't forget how powerful you are. Remember who the fuck you are and breathe. I hope I help, made you laugh, you know, give you some peace of mind, made you relax a little bit. 
If you'd like to work with me, please follow your intuition working with any spiritual advisor. Even if that means you do not work with me, your intuition will guide you to who, what, when, where, and how to work with those spiritual advisors. The Almighty Pineapple LLC is trade by copyright and registered with the United States government. Any duplication of my content or my videos without my permission is subject to legal recourse as guided by my legal team. If this message doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. If it don't fly, don't fly with you, it don't fly with you. That's okay. I'm not for everybody. Everyone's not for me. You're not for everybody. Everyone's not for you. That's okay too. I love y'all. Thank y'all for fucking with me. Thank you for your support. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. That way you don't have to wait for me to post this on Twitter or to my Instagram pages for an update. You automatically get a notification every time I upload a new video. I love y'all. I'll talk to you later.